going on, everybody? We're back again with America's Favorite Beard, Ian Stitch. <laughs> Although I trimmed it up, I'm sorry. Uh, it's still pretty nice, though. Thank you. And today we're going to talk about double stops. Double stops. What's a double stop? I Define it, please. No idea. No, I'm just no, kidding. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so for a long time I was very intrigued by the word double stop. I had no idea what it meant until I found out what it really is. A double stop, in theory, is two notes played at one time, especially in the blues. You hear the term blues double stops all the time. But more importantly, what makes them up? Should I get into it right now? What, well, actually, what? double stops were different for me when I was in college. Oh, so? Double stop was actually a move perfected by me and my buddy Zach, where if it was like an attractive girl in one of my college classes, right? This is this is the move. So you're going to be the attractive girl, right? Of course You I am. stare ahead because you're not paying any attention to me. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hardcore stare at him, her, until until she looks, look, and then I look away, and then I look back, and I see her looking at me, right? And <laughs> that's what we call the double stop. <laughs> but anyways, it was very effective, and I suggest you try that out. Yeah. That's what a double stop was to me. But then I learned how to do the blues double stop, which we're going to talk more about. We're talking more about right now. Right now. Mm -hmm. That's the creepiest thing I've heard. Okay, so, so here we go. The blues double stops. Um, really, uh, this is kind of a continuation of our lesson how to fake a, a blues. Faking the blues. blues. So really quickly, if you haven't seen that, go watch that come back. But here we are. So here we go. So uh, really quickly, we have our E7 chord down here. We had this guy here. And we got to this next E7 here, all right? And what we're going to do for these blues double stops, and I call this, actually before we get going, I call this kind of walking a tightrope um, because you have this Form 1 pentatonic down here that we use a lot. Even then, play, play the double stops real quick first. Okay, great so idea. Like See, he's guiding the whole thing. Here all we right. go. Uh, double stops. That type of stuff. Making your way through the fretboard in a way that kind of makes sense, hopefully. Hopefully. hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully. Right? Well, here we go. Let's try to yeah. give it some sense. So how do you do this? Well, you really need to know your seventh chord um, voicing. So we have this guy here. We have four, four, three, four. And in our Fake in the Blues video, we use this to actually play, but now we're going to use this for the double stop. Right? Actually... This, was, this was a chord, like the D7 up two frets, D, D sharp, E7. E7. So this is the E7. E7. Voicing. Voicing. Right? So you don't really need your middle, your first finger. So you have the G, uh, G string fourth fret and the uh, E string fourth fret. And you take your pick and you do these triplets. Triplet. Right? Triplet. Now the next chord voicing I'm going to use really comes from this E7 here, which if you're going to play it, is going to be barred down. You have seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, and really we just need the seventh fret of the G string and seventh fret of the high E string. They're in the chord. You can hear it. So I go from this guy and I slide into that guy. The next one I do is I use this voicing here, which is from the, the previous video. We have ninth fret barred, and then we have 10th fret here. Again, just the G string, 9, and high E string, 10. Uh, le yeah, 10. So I have... And the last voicing you need to know is really this E7, but all the way up here. And it's the 13th fret of the G and the 12th fret of the high E. So we have these four voicings, 4 and 4. 7 and 7, 9 and 10, and you're going to switch your middle finger out, 13 and 12. These are all pieces of E7 chords. Yeah, so you can look at these as individual voicings, or you can kind of look at them almost as inversions, pieces of inversions of chord voicings yes. to move yourself through. And again, the biggest thing is uh, double stops. I mean, you and I were talking about it, which is at first we thought they were just pieces of pentatonic scales or just... Right. And, and you can be, I mean, there's different definitions. People use double stop in different ways. True. Like if you're just making your way through like... Like just kind of like pieces of it. But I think this is just more of a, a functional double stop lesson where we're building yes. something. We're taking a song in a direction. Absolutely. And that's that's the key of this is, is when you're soloing, how do you even play this or where do you put it? And that's a great, great statement, which is, again, before we, we place it, we have four and four, seven and seven, nine and ten, and 13 and 12, and those are again just pieces of the chord. But where we usually put this is in the 12 bar blues, we put this in the measure right before we change to the four chord. So if we were playing an E, we'd have the E for three bars. Let's end up, we'll, we'll do it again. Yeah. Two, ready, go. So. Right there. Oh, 
Oh, right when I went to the A, I started with the E7, and I went to the four chord, E, F, G, A. Yes. A7, I went to the A7, and that's where well, it, That's where I landed on this pentatonic up here. And I call this, again, walking the tightrope, because you have these two little strings that you gotta connect this form one pentatonic to this form one pentatonic, and you gotta do it quickly. You have one bar to do it. That's right. On the last clock's ticking. Yeah, clock's ticking. <laughs> it is. So you have one measure. It's the last measure of the E before we go to the A, and that's where I land. So we'll do it one more time. One, two, four. Cool. Yeah, we have one, two, ready, go. I just started jamming there. I threw those double stops in right. really anywhere, uh -huh. and they sounded great. Doesn't matter. Just it's kind of like a continuation of just cycling through those chord voicings, but doing it in a more cohesive way, where instead of just randomly jumping around, you're just stringing them together. Right down, form one to form one, and straight down, building that tension, letting the magic happen. And it's magical, really. So there we go. Just kind of like the double stop move. I'm tell I'm telling you. Don't try. Do I mean, use with caution, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyways, if you like the stuff, check out Ian's channel. Oh, Stitch Method. One word. Stitch Method Guitar on YouTube. Thank you, Sean. You're the man. Oh, stop it. Please. I'm so glad stop we're friends. Enough. <laughs> Till next time. Bye.